Hello, you guys. Um, this has been sitting on my chest for a very long time, and I wanted to get it off of my chest. YouTube, to me, is everything. You guys are my life. You guys are literally the best thing about my life right now. The way you support me, the way you interact with me, whether it be on here on YouTube or on any social media account. I didn't want to forget this either. For the people that support me, I love you so much. Thank you for putting up with all of my crap on Twitter or any other social media website that you follow me on. If you watch me on you now, thank you for putting up with all of my flipping, flapping, twerking, blocking, pop, blocking, dropping. Thank you for putting up with Laquanda and her hot mess from cussing so many of you out. You guys are the best thing that has ever happened to me. You guys are like my bosses that give me a evaluation report every time I upload a video to YouTube. YouTube is really hard and it shouldn't be. Connor Frantz had just left O2L and he pointed out something about YouTube that a lot of people don't understand. A lot of YouTubers are doing what Connor said in his video and they're just doing it because they have to. They're not doing it for fun. A lot of YouTubers nowadays are doing it because of the business, because they want to make money, because they want to do so many things. Listen, that's complete bullshit. With me, it's so weird. A lot of upcoming YouTubers see Downtown Kenny Brown and a lot of big people's videos or know me from JC Kalen. And I'm so blessed. I'm so, so, so blessed for knowing all of the people I know, especially JC, because it's gotten me very far in this career. But you guys have to realize that makes me no better than you watching this video. Yes, it has some perks because I can go backstage to certain things or I can meet with someone and have a simple conversation and occasionally, once in a blue moon, collab with someone. Because if you haven't realized, all of those people I've taken Instagram pictures with, how many of them have you actually seen on my channel? Now I know speed round is going on and you're going to see a lot of familiar faces, but don't get it twisted, boo. Nothing has ever changed in the way I see things. It kills me to say that my YouTube experience has not all been fun and games. You guys don't see the stuff that happens behind the screens. Like, you guys don't see the tears and the effort that puts into work. And it sucks. There are so many underrated YouTubers that are out here. And that is why I love the Settle Down Kids for doing that collab thing that they're doing, that, that contest. Because there is so many. Joey Kidney, for instance. I will call you out in this video. Anthony Russo. Will Power, Taylor Baxter, you guys, there are so many great YouTubers like that who want to do it for fun, but they get it twisted. And I'm not saying them, but YouTubers in general get it twisted towards the side of business where they just want to do this for money. And it's just like, where's the fun at? And this is what it really comes down to. This is just how the cookie crumbles. It kills me inside that YouTubers especially here in America, because I know in the U in, in some, some YouTubers, don't get me wrong, in the UK will help each other build up and build each other up so everybody's at that same level so everybody gets a piece of the cake, a.k.a. money. Really, though, but it's not like that for a lot of people. A lot of people don't see it like that. A lot of people see it as, I want to build you up so, yes, we have the same fan basis so we can have this much fun together. So, we're not worried about what American YouTubers, in my opinion, worry about, which is numbers. I don't understand why a number is a thing. Aaliyah once said, AJ, hey, nothing but a number, but that can get you thrown in jail. But, really, numbers should not matter here. It should be all about the content, the fun, the idea, and the delivery of how you do your job. Because this, to many people, is a job. And I know what a job is, but if you're not having fun at your job, why are you sitting there? JC used to always say, if you're not having fun doing something, why are you doing it? It really frustrates me that YouTubers that are very big in this business will not look at a YouTuber with hypothetically 20,000 subscribers or less. Joey Kidney is an amazing YouTuber. Russo is an amazing YouTuber. All of these 
people that I've mentioned, and there's so many more. Connor Manning, Ashley Mardell, the third PU. I can go on and on and on. Matoki Maxted, Jeffrey Fever, Edsta, Ben, James Chats. There are so many I could name. I could give you a list, but we would be here for hours, people. There are so many more content creators out there that I really think that you guys should just open up to. Don't sit here and watch the same thing every single day because you're being blinded, boo. You're being blinded by a struggle that is so real in the YouTube nowadays. It used to be fun back in the day where numbers weren't a damn thing. And it sucks that YouTubers nowadays rely on nothing but numbers just so they can become famous or just so they can become known. It's crazy nowadays that people look at someone like J.C. Kalen or people look at someone like Connor Franta and believe that they're a celebrity of some sorts. But in actuality, let me bring you back down to reality, boo. They are just a person like you and me just talking to this camera. That's all we do. We're nothing special. If you really think that a lot of us are perfect, we are not. I wish a lot of you would wake up and smell that. We are very insecure about a lot of things. We have a lot of issues going on that we can't portray to the camera for you guys to see. Even though we love this job, you don't see everything. And with that said, don't judge us for every decision that we make. People say and do stupid things in life. Okay? People make mistakes. And that's what we are. We are just people. We are just ordinary people. And it sickens me that this world comes down to something, this little thing right here. This little thing right here. I don't understand how the world runs off of this. It's nothing but numbers, people. I know I got a little bit of sidetracked, but you get the point. You guys have so much going on in your life. And it's so weird to see comments saying, um... You hate yourself because you did this or blah 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 blah. Or that we are so perfect that we are so perfect and that you look up to us boo we have so much stuff going on that you have no idea of for crying out loud let's be honest downtown kenny brown i don't know what i will be doing of january of next year i don't even know what i'll be doing in two months i don't know where i'll be living in two months you guys it's a struggle okay it is a struggle. And YouTube nowadays, to me, is bullshit. Sorry for the language, parents. But that's just how I feel. I just opened up my heart to you and let it just explode. Let me know what you think. Because it really makes me sick nowadays that YouTube has come down to nothing but numbers and money. When back in the day, you could throw on a wig and not be judged. Or you can throw in some cinnamon in your mouth and people would just laugh. Love you, Glow Cell. And not all YouTubers are like this, don't get me wrong. But the majority of them are. And the majority of them are the ones that you watch. Like the big ones. Because all of us underrated ones aren't appreciated as much. It pisses me off. Back in the day, last year, not even back in the day, last year... 20,000 subscribers is a lot of freaking people. Charlie is so cool like tweeted something that said it's remarkable. I don't have the the direct tweet, but it said something as as of this. It's remarkable that at VidCon there were 18,000 people and that was insane. But 18,000 views is considered crap. Same thing with subscribers, people. I don't give a dang about views. I've told you guys this many times. If I can help one person, awesome. Now, yes, it does hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. When I work hard on a video and it doesn't get as many views as I believe it should. I'll let you know right now. If a video for me does not have a thousand views or more, I get hurt. I will let you know right now, I get hurt. Because my viewership and my subscriber rate is completely off. Okay? Because somebody that, let's be honest, somebody that's at 20K should not be averaging 700 views a video.
Come on, y'all. But I think I'm going to stop there. Um, I think I'm going to stop there. Let me know what you guys think. I love all of you so, so, so much. I hate to have to upload this video today um, because I know speed round is going on and I don't want this to take away from speed round. But, um, yeah. SDK, thank you for the opportunity to collab slash enter your contest. Um, it was amazing. You opened my eyes to a lot of new content creators that are out there that are freaking amazing. Um, so thank you for that. The big YouTubers that are watching this, you know directly who you are, boo. Wake up! And start doing it for fun and stop worrying about money. I understand bills need to be paid, but wake up. We in reality too, boo. Be kind to those that are low class. Anyway, I said I was done. That's just how this cookie crumbles. And honestly, Joey Gatto, you remember this from back in the day. That's just the way I see it. Peace.